tune into the street session with your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go. So listen, we're here right now, Street Sessions, London Rebels show, Box Park Craden. I'm here with Jimmy Inks, the guy that says he can do inks, <laughs> but I don't know if he wants to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not even like that. It's not even like that. I can do tattoos, innit? Yeah. But it's not a profession. Yeah. It's not a profession. Music, all the way. Yeah. Obviously, you said you're a producer. Yeah, yeah. So talk to us about what being a producer is like. Do you enjoy it? And how is life being a producer for you? I'm not even going to lie. I'm a producer by choice. Because okay. I had to start producing. I'm an artist, straightforward. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I was starting up, nobody was making beats for me. And I, and, and I wanted a, a specific type of beat. So I just got into producing and, and then it just took off from there. I produce for other artists. I produce for myself. I do commercials, do games. Yeah, it's just producing. You know what? That's an interesting point because being a producer then, and then obviously being an artist. Now a lot of people might say, "Why not just go on YouTube? Why not go on Beatstar? Like where you can actually find beats, purchase it." What made you not want to go down that route where you can just purchase a beat, like, type in Ed Sheeran type beats, and grab that? Because not every type beat is your beat. If you're looking for a Dave East beat, that beat is made for Dave East. Someone made it with him in mind. Do you rap like Dave East? Exactly. So make, find your own lane, find your niche. Do what, That's what made me want to make beats. I wanted to make beats that I felt I liked and suited my artistry. You know what I mean? So would you say that people like Russ, US Russ, J. Cole, they inspire you because... You know, they produce their own music, make their own beats, mix and master themselves, yeah? It's, it's been the, the way for a long time. Like, if you really look at it, Timberland's done it, Swiss Beats done it, Kanye West done it, yeah, yeah. Dr. Dre's done it. <laughs> like, name a producer that hasn't done Pharrell's done it. Name a producer Pharrell, that yeah, hasn't done yeah, it. Yeah. You see what I mean? So, it just it goes hand in hand. And most producers can, could, could, like, make music. Like, you can't differentiate between a producer and the artist that they are. You know what I mean? So that's why I just stick to my guns and just do that. So I'm a producer artist, but if you want me to rap or spin a track or write something, I can do that. So would you say that, are you willing to write for other artists? Because obviously as a producer, right, you've got producers that can write for artists, that will give them ideas, give away beats. Is that something that you would do or is it more like, I do things for myself internally and if someone contacts me we can work together on what you want to do or would you sit at home write a song and be like you know what Ed Sheeran have that is that not something you want to do if you came to my studio <laughs> if you saw my catalogue yeah. you can pick whatever you want yeah. so long as the price is right I'll never go wrong I've got I've got beats for everybody yeah. like check me out I've got beats for everybody and I make beats for you you know what I mean? Like, we would sit down and we would structure something. You might hear something that I produced before and be like, yeah, I like that. I want that. Nah, you won't get that. I'll give you what you want. Oh, so all I'm saying is right now, I'm going to go to his studio. I'm going to make a track. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll make sure the money is right for him as well. <laughs> nah, I make music as well still. I mean, serious. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that, bro. Um, for anybody who wants to be an artist slash producer, uh, what would be your advice? Because obviously it's hard. It's not as easy as making yourself a beat. So what would be your advice for somebody who wants to do music but can't find like a beat that suits them? If they can't find a beat that suits them, yeah. make the beat work for you. You see what I mean? Like, make the beat work for you. So when I'm engineering with an artist and they've come to me and they said, yeah, I'm a rapper and I've got a load of beats and you can't rap on one beat, we might need to, like, you know, make some, shake something up. Because you're, you're, you're saying you're a rapper, but you can't rap. A rapper's can rap on anything. 
You know what I mean? So if you're a rapper and you can't rap on a beat, we're going to have to make a beat that's so simple, it you can't not rap on it. You know what I mean? And then that's you in your pocket. And you feel comfortable. You know what you're doing. It's just simple. I like to create. And I don't like any boxes or pigeonholing. Like, do, do you, innit? If you feel comfortable with singing your lyrics and you know it don't sound right, if you think it's fire, go through. You know what? I can't lie. Listening to Jimmy Inks talk is very, like, to me, it's very inspiring. I'll be honest. Like, for me, like, I do, I do music. I do presenting. I do directing, producing, not your type of producing, <laughs> video <laughs> producing. <laughs> you know, you gotta like make sure he knows, like. No, but you're <laughs> creative. Yeah, I'll say I'm a creative, right? But I love hearing um, other creators with their opinions because for me, it was very much like I was just broke and I couldn't afford things. I quit my job, I was on Job Seekers Allowance, and I was just like, dibble dip, dip dabble into random shit. Yeah, it's true, it's true, it's true. But my point was like, just hearing you speak is, is for me is very inspiring and very uplifting because I feel like there's not enough people that are like you that are willing to share those type of things. I feel like when you become like this mogul, it's easy to say, do this, do that. Because when you, when you get really big, man then be like, I just work hard, bro. You got to work hard, grind every day, sacrifice, but you're Drake. <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got to remember, yeah. Even though you're Drake, you've been Drake. You've been Drake. Yeah, 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 and you've been saying to people, I'm gonna be Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody believed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You believed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you are Drake, there's no point turning around and being like, I'm Drake. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just be you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have always been supportive. You've always been there for the people that you know and care for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a give and take. Like, yeah, really yeah, yeah. and truly. Yeah. If I make it big, the only people that I know weren't in my corner are the people that don't show the support now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that stuff. Bandwagon jumpers, and we all know who they are. Yeah. We all do. We, we all do. We all so do. when you get when you go up levels and levels and levels, the, the bandwagon jumpers jump off. Yeah, yeah. You get me? And then you get true fans, true supporters, people that say, yo. He's next. He's. I believe in his music. Like it's not the same thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. So shout out to Jimmy Inks. Uh, obviously, you're gonna find him on the street session. Listen, we're gonna make him a presenter next. That's gonna be his next title. That's gonna be his next title. But honestly, so obviously, if you wanna see him on radio as well, if you wanna interview and you want Jimmy Inks to do it for you, we're gonna make it happen still. But for anybody who wants to find you, where can they find you, bro? You can find me on all social media at J I M M Y I N K Z. That's all social medias. I don't change. I don't have numbers in my name. It's Jimmy Inks to the world. Make sure you lot check the YouTube description. His Instagram's gonna be there, and all the other socials will be there. He like he said, it's so simple. It's the same thing for everything. So I'm gonna make sure. Hey, play the rewind. Okay, you play the rewind. <laughs> it's on the description. And that's how it goes when you record you. <laughs> it sounds bad. <laughs> but a uh, big shout out to you, Jimmy Ng. Thank you very much. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna work again, bro. This has been World FM, 90.4, Street Session, London Rebels, Box Park Craden. You wouldn't know where it is. My boy is trying to run around. I don't know why, but we out. Been tuned into the street session. With your boy for us and Joe MK. Why is this the name of our show, bro? Because we're the hottest in the streets. Mm. Catch us online on the go and on the FM. Okay, let's go.